So we're back with another video and apparently this is gonna be another workflow video. Anyways, um, my friend reached up to me though and she said that she want, uh, she has this project of hers though in her school. It's a broadcasting video and it's about her reporting with other groupmates of hers. She wanted a uh, intro on that particular video though, an uh, animated video, uh, intro rather, of their sc uh, school logo which is a uh, Capital University, which is this one. Basically, she wanted an intro on her, her broadcast, I guess. It's like, okay, uh, uh, just give me some ideas and then we'll work on it though. So yeah, uh, we worked on it. With that said, I hope you enjoyed this video. Hopefully you learned something from this video and let's get right to it. So yeah, this is Blender 2.93. This is the version that I kept using ever since I switched from Blender 2.83, which is the, the first version that I've used since I've started using Blender. So yeah, um, apparently I added a reference image on this uh, project, obviously because of the, uh, and then I adjusted the image because it, uh, I don't know, <laughs> from my perspective, it, kind of feels like it's not centered at all so I just did that and then um, added a, a circle on it uh, and then reducing the opacity of the reference photo so that I can see it well and then adjusting it a little bit and uh, I just noticed that the man is not centered so anyways I'm just gonna leave it there and added another circle by the way I'm just com commentating this though because I recorded this and then added a fit some faces on the uh, circle and there you go we have our outer circle so we have our outer circle now let's proceed to the sun uh, on the center so we added another circle for this uh, the uh, circle in the center though <laughs> I don't know we're getting this though and then I added a single uh, vertex though for the rays uh, for the eight rays on the uh, sun just extruded and then duplicating it on each and every tip of the ray and then um, adding some edges on the uh, the rays and all of that and then adding some faces right after selecting the different um, vertex uh, vertices and then boom we have our sun so yeah <laughs> quick and easy for now now let's head on to the earth which is kind of complex to be honest because it was a slow process to begin with since I just realized there's some islands on <laughs> on the uh, globe uh, well duh okay so uh, what I did here is that I just extruded uh, each and every part of the islands uh, and then yeah the Philippines uh, it's kind of complex uh, geometry and all of that anyways it's not gonna be very much um, yeah uh, what is this called a uh, detail though since it's gonna be uh, zoomed out and then I add some faces on each and every island and then the ocean part of the earth, uh, the globe rather. Honestly, it's really um, <laughs> uh, complicated to fill up um, faces because of the geometry and all that. So yeah, and I added two materials on it though. The one is gonna be the ocean, one is gonna be the earth. And then yeah, here we go. So we have now our basic uh, materials for the earth so yeah we have our sun we have our outer circle and we have our globe so now we're gonna work on the uh the person that is in the center holding i guess the uh, the earth i guess <laughs> i don't know it's considered holding but then again i worked on it though i used a plane for this uh particular yeah and then I just uh, find some trouble on the uh, legs and the arms so I just duplicated some vertices, vertices and then um, yeah um, adding faces and then boom we have ourselves the person that is holding the earth and yeah so yeah <laughs> we got our uh, yeah now the last thing that we're gonna work on is the wreath of the logo so uh, same process we're gonna use the face uh, the planes and all that adjusting the vertices adding some vertex uh, vertices and all that duplicating those uh, meshes to create those leaves and then um, adding it as one object and then put a mirror modifier after applying the transforms and would you look at that we have our wreath it honestly it looks good to look at those <laughs> so yeah uh, we have our flat uh, version of the logo without the text yet though we're gonna add the text right after this so let's uh yeah head on to adding the text so the text here 
Actually, I, um, I kind of getting confused on what font they're gonna be using. Typeface rather. So I just tr uh, find uh, some similar fonts on typefaces, and I just found out that they used old English script on this uh, uh, on their name. So we have here now Capital University, and then we faced the problem of curving it. So we added a. Um, circle curve and then making it as the base basis of the curve and now it's just me uh, <laughs> adjusting the text so that it aligns properly to the original logo so yeah anyways it's just me rotating and all that and we have the perfect position for the yeah so yeah we convert it to mesh and then it's already um yeah uh, <laughs> you know what is it what do you call this meshable you know something like that and then it's the same concept on each and every other text right there to convey and the or cd the latin text i guess it's latin i think <laughs> maybe so yeah um as you may know it is already done so uh you're, what you're seeing now is the flat version of the logo of capital university so yeah here we go so we're gonna make it thick a bit so we're extruding each and every part of the logo so we extruded the text we extruded the um the circle the and then inset it and then the sun and then the wreath and then the earth and then the person be, uh holding the uh, and then putting some uh, basic materials on it and as you may know we have our yeah, um logo so, so i guess it's already good though now uh Oh, now I face the problem, uh, the challenge of animating this though, in particular, yeah, um, style. So let's just uh, position our camera, and then um, I don't know. Let's add the. Uh, oh yeah, by the way, she add um, she wanted this as her background video, I guess so. And honestly, it's not, <laughs> it's not yeah, um, but she wanted this though. So we're gonna work on that, and. Yeah, we're gonna add some transition bars though, the ones that you see on Adobe Premiere, I guess though. I don't know if that's, if that's a thing, but then again, I animated these bars and look at this. So that's the transition, yeah, kinda. And then animating the different parts of the logo so that it looks um, kinda, yeah, 3D like those. So yeah, and um, experimenting the, um, the animation and uh, would you look at this. So here is the, yeah, concept animation and honestly i did not like the background video i just yeeted the, the background video instead because i have a better idea so instead i'm just gonna make the environment dark and then making every object um emissive or glowing to be uh to be frank so yeah we have this though it's still the same but without the uh, background uh, video and now i'm gonna add some procedural grids so i just learned from this video by uh, Ducky 3D. The link is down in the description box below if you want to check it out. It's um, it's a procedural uh, material that creates grid-like um, textures. So as you can see, I'm working on the uh, grid procedural nodes, and then uh, as you can see, it looks more um, yeah futuristic because of the grids. And now du duplicating these grids and look at this. <laughs> so yeah, um, I tried um, pushing out the transition bars and then adding color on each and every grid there is based on the Philippine flag though the red the blue the yellow and the white so yeah and then animating the camera a bit and then um, experimenting with the camera and then we have this so I guess that's good though and then with the transition bars the animation the logo and yeah so I guess that's it though so now it's all me um, animating the glow of the sun to emphasize that yeah and then animating the grid of the yeah the white grid and then putting some motion blur on this um, particular animation putting some red bars and then as you may know um, it's time for render and here is the final animation look at that so <laughs> yeah with the motion blur it looks uh, pretty um, awesome though to be honest to, on my part and yeah that was it though so i guess that was it though i hope you enjoyed this video criticisms are very much appreciated though put it down in the comment section if you have criticisms on this oh uh, yeah i would be happy to learn from you all you know so because i'm still learning so yeah i'll see you guys in the next uh, video peace out bro and yeah